Hey everybody, Mr. Campbell here from MrCampbellRocks.com with another kind of tutorial slash announcement. Uh, Google Meet will be updating over the next three or four days and you're gonna see some of those features that we've all wanted without extensions now native to, um, to Google Meet. So one of those obviously is the grid view. It'll be Zoom-like where it'll be automatically grid viewed up to 16 people. If you have more than 16 people in a meeting, you would want to use an extension, uh, either the Google Grid extension where you can have up to 40 people and it just keeps growing, um, or some of the other grid extensions out there, um, the, the all-in-one kind of grid extension. Um, so that's the the first one that'll be happening uh, they said by the 24th again you can see the web address here i'll put it right down below it's the cloud.google.com the second one which rolled out last week which we'll, we're starting to see in g suite accounts is starting a google meet straight from gmail um, there is also the option to um, when you're sharing your screen to share straight from a chrome tab which solves a lot of the audio and visual problems that we had when sharing tabs when we were sharing tabs previously to this rollout essentially what that means is you can share a youtube video with your class and they can hear all the audio just from that tab instead of doing all these crazy workarounds i'll put a tutorial up a little bit later than that so some of the other ones as we scroll down right here is an example of grid view what that will look like um, what they've also are going to do is they're going to add higher quality video and audio coming out of screens um, it was 360 uh, they're probably going to be moving up to 720 i doubt they'll be doing 1080 but um, that option will now help with a lot of visual um, different things where you get pixelated views and kind of uh, uh, messed up views the other one is a low light mode where you can adjust your video to make you more visible based on your surroundings and how much light you have in your room obviously people are working from home, homes and they have different lights uh, situations and then there's also an outside noise cancellation because you're working from home and teaching students from home or your students are at home um, they are going to be add a adding a background uh, distractions noise some of the other things as far as when i've reached out to google that they're going to be working on is a mute all or an unmute students um, button um, as well as some other um, features with the um, grid not grid view but emojis and some of those other things um, that some of the third party extensions have created at this point again uh, hopefully this got you excited, right? So there's not all those extension, all those different things that you have to plug in. And that this means that Google's listening, right? Obviously they're in a time when they need to be listening, but, um, if you found value in this, if this, uh, tutorial saved you time, energy, and frustration, um, go ahead and show your appreciation by liking and subscribing and commenting and asking any questions that you have. Again, I love you. I appreciate you. And I'm glad that you're here.